Hey guys, this is Jaser. How's everything going? In this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, 204 Camp Crimes. It's an easy one, but there's a lot of hints here. Uh, if you have time, you can look at it carefully about how to improve, improve the uh, approach. And uh, yeah, let's begin. So, for the naive solution to determine to check if a number, number i is prime. We will divide i with all numbers from 0 to square root i, right? And uh, we, we get the result. If it is integer, then it's not the prime. So it will cost us actually uh, square root n for the number. And there will be n numbers. So generally, it should be something called this right so how could you improve it well for for two it's uh, prime and then we could say the four is not prime we already know we could we could you know because times two times two is four and then two times three is six so six is not a prime yeah so so when we get a number prime we could uh, get a prime, then we could could filter out a lot, a lot of non-prime numbers, right? Cool. So that reminds us we could use uh, the array is prime equals new array initialize it length of n and fill them with uh, true default to true. The first zero is not prime. One is not prime. Now we loop through from start from two and start by the square root. Mm -hmm. So i times i is more than plus plus. And yeah, if is prime i because it's true. So if it is prime, uh, if it is not prime, like four, then all the multiplier of four is already calculated by two, right? So we could continue, and then if it is a prime, then we mark in new numbers. So we start from j equals i, j, why we start i? Because if j is more than i, it's already marked. Okay, j start from i, and i times j is more than n, j plus plus. And then we, we could mark them all as uh, uh, i times j equals to false. Right? Yeah. And actually, the calculation here could be. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So, this is the false. Okay. And after these four, two, four loops is down, then we get. We already know all the numbers less than n, whether they are. Uh, whether they are. Uh, prime or not, right? So we for mm -hmm, number less than n, right? We create an array. We should be actually fill with ah less than n, then zero one. The index is actually the n minus one. Cool. That's cool. So actually, we could just uh, return. Reduce count flag. Okay. This is prime. Zero if is prime. Count plus equals one. Increment it and return the count. Is prime. Yeah, this is the certain. 
to fail. Really? Okay, default to full, true, set to default, and then start from two. Mm -hmm. and if it is not fine, then we continue. And then we start with i and uh, j plus. Oh, yeah, j if it's right. And we update i times j equals to false. Cool. And then it's prime, we reduce, uh, count, start from zero. Oh, ah, it's prime. There's a typo here. Mm, that's it. That's the solution. Now let's try to analyze the time and space complexity. For space, it's obviously we use uh, the linear space, right? But for time, uh, it's a very deep topic. I recommend you read. It's actually cannot be derived easily, I think. There's a lot of math here. Uh, if you're interested, please take a look at the link attached uh at the uh, uh at the description it generally is is said to be o uh n log 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 n mm pretty pretty uh, pretty complicated uh, yeah please read more that's all for this one hope you help see you next time